Here we have a bot and a group. The bot will be used to add or remove group IDs. These group IDs represent the groups we will send messages to or our target groups. The source group is where we will send the messages from. To start, you'll need to get the ID of your target group. For this example, I'll be using destination group one as the target group. Next, open the bot and use slash save command along with the group's ID and group username. This will save the group ID in the IDs list. To check the IDs that have been added, simply use the list command to display a list of all the saved IDs. Now we have our target group ready. Next, open the source group. Use keyboard command to display the reply keyboard. Click on the send button, write the message you want to send, and then hit enter. Your message will now be sent to the target group. I have set the loop time to five seconds, which means the message will be resent every five seconds. However, you can customize the loop time to your preference, whether you want it to resend every five minutes, 30 minutes, or any other desired interval. To stop the automation, simply click the stop button in the source group. All right. Now let's add a second target group. I will use destination group two as example. Similar to what we did earlier, use the save command followed by the group's ID and username. As you've noticed, the message has been sent to both groups. This is because the message is sent to all group IDs that are saved in the IDs list. You can add as many target groups as you want. If you want to remove a group ID from the list, Use the remove command followed by the specific group ID. You can always check available IDs using the list command. You also can send media files such as photos or videos and include captions for them or a stickers.